So we're at an undisclosed space. What are you doing? We're no, in Florida. This is where Welcome I'm to Mexico. getting all the games. Okay, we're here. Joe's here. Hey, Joe. Tell them why. Tell them why your convention's better than Risk Convention. Really rad weekend here Risk in Florida. Rad. Good. It is good. We're here for that this weekend. But right now, we're digging through the warehouse. He's got goodies. He says everything is ninety percent off. Let's go. Play choice said, "Hey, Joe, are these working? Talk to me about these." Um, so a lot of the ones towards the front are either working or close to working. This one we need to rebuild the base on. Good old play choice ten. Uh, so there's technically like five of these in here. Okay. So this is a play choice ten. The golden axe was originally a punch out. You can tell because of the. Oh glass yeah. So are these just you're just so he also owns a barcade arcade bar you know combined together. Do you, are these for that? Like some someday. That so we rotate games out of that and then also we're about to open another location. So we've been stocking up, getting ready. Okay. Cool. This is one of the coolest pieces. Ricky. I'm sorry. Here, take this back out. <laughs> this is one of the coolest pieces that there is probably in here. This is like my favorite piece. I actually have the topper for this. It's, I don't know if it's called the, the marquee for this right here, the TMNT. It's beautiful. And then this is it. Look, there's actually figures in here. And this is the most amazing pinball machine. And Joe said he'd, he's going to give it to me for 50 bucks today out the door. And I'm happy about it. Thanks, Joe. By the digging area. Check this out. What's hilarious about this is they, they just found Super Buster Bros, which is an amazing game. <laughs> Joe sold me just the box for this like four years ago. I don't know if I'm going to be able to dig that footage out. But here it is. He was like, what the crap? There it is. It's all together. And now maybe I can get it all together. I'm gonna, definitely going to get this from Riff. He doesn't need this. I'm going to buy it. Oh, have you really? Yeah, I know. What? I've got a story about those. What, all right, hit me with a story. Uh, I went to buy that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pinball machine. Okay. A guy wasn't a pinball collector. He's a turtles collector. He opens his garage. And he gave me these as a gift for buying the pinball machine. Oh, oh wow. man. That's he awesome. Has hundreds and hundreds of sealed boxes of these on card in his garage. Whoa, that's wild. So you'd be willing to get rid of those ones then for free. <laughs> <laughs> down to dig, down to dig! Ricky? Bruh. All right, he's got the, I guess I get I get all the good stuff, all the Atari stuff, huh? Yeah, I get the scraps. I bet you would. I bet he would. Yeah, you know. Or Atari. All right, let's keep digging, let's keep digging. All right, we have a bunch of Nintendo zappers that have seen better days. Um, they're scary, I'm not gonna, that's about as far as I'm just gonna dig. I think I'm good on this one, but you got a lot of consoles. A lot of these need to be repaired. Yeah, some are just untested so far. Okay, look at this, look at here. Man. There's a lot of backwards compatible PS3s in here too. So name a game for me right now is I gotta find the, I gotta find the small stuff. We're just, he's digging these out. Turbo, uh, Jaguar, uh, Panasonic, Panasonic, another Panasonic. Just, he's digging them out, digging them out. It's time to put away your toys. 3DO from Panasonic, Gold Star, and Creative Labs. A new low price and free games. Careful. Doing an SP loader and so on. He said to be careful. SNK Neo Geo CD? Ricky, have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah. Come what on. are you doing to this? I'm what are you doing? I'm doing a uh, ODE install, so it'll Jeez. be able to take SD cards. It's crazy. So once this is done, with someone like this work? Uh, when that part's done, probably about I like six to seven hundred, depending on what else I do to it. You said six to seven hundred dollars. I heard him say it. Look at that. That is that's nutty. It's just stuff just like buried away back here, man. You need to get your life together. Listen. Busy putting on conventions and I get it. Fan Home exists to make fandom stories you love last forever. They partner with top entertainment, gaming, and pop culture brands to give you a broader and deeper access to your favorite characters and stories. Fan Home's products are original in-house designs that you won't find anywhere else. Their goal is to make every collection an awesome experience. Their collections and build-up models provide unprecedented access to the brands and characters you love with behind-the-scenes material, little-known information, and rare images. Each shipment includes awesome, fully illustrated magazines packed with information that will make you a true 
true master of the universe you love. So here's how it works. You get to pick your collection or build up model and subscribe. We chose the Batmobile from the classic TV series from 1966, Batman. Each month you'll receive Fan Home's exclusive products and magazines with inspiring content. In your first package, you'll receive two assembly stages and one magazine with your building instructions. The packages in the following months will contain four assembly stages and one magazine. They will even send you extra gifts along the way. The aspect that impresses me the most about Fan Home's products is their attention to detail. We were sent the components for the Batmobile's wheels and hood, and these things are amazing, guys. The detail, again, is insane. This thing is gonna be awesome when it's built up. When your project is complete, it will have loads of functions that you can enjoy. The lights and sirens all function, and even the afterburner comes to life with realistic sound effects. There are loads of extras that will ensure that you will love your experience. Tap my link in the description below to get a great deal. Experience your favorite fandom stories in a whole new way with fandom. PS3 One Piece uh, Collector's Edition console. That is crazy. It needs a new disk drive. I got a guy that can fix that. Hey, well, would you sell this guy? Okay. How much? You want me to fix it or do you want to fix it? Well, I have a guy that can fix it. I'll help you. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get a little stat. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. okay, so over here, Michael, check these out. These are Play Choice 10 boards. Look at this. Contra. Freaking beautiful. There's the board for the Play Choice 10. You got some Tech Mobile. All of this in one place is absolutely wild. You can you can tell they've been doing this for years and years. Oh, and yeah. this is just the stuff that's collecting at this point. That's crazy. You ever see this game before? Oh. So it looks like they're printing new artwork for some of the arcade pieces right here. Got the Marcade. Arcade, the Nintendo Arcade, Mario Bros. Wow, got that. Look at that up. That's pretty sick. Something's coming up the plumbing for Luigi's in a bind. Giant turtles out to get him. Creepy crabs are right behind. Fighter flies, cheaper shites, they're all coming out the pipes. Mario, where are you? This guy, this is a box full of arcade PCBs. This guy, when I showed up to his house, he had an arcade in his house, which whatever, that's cool. He had the biggest collection of vintage Apple computers I've ever seen. This is a beyond my pay grade. I do know what marquees are. These are cool. <laughs> I know stuff that looks I know pretty. A word. I know things that look pretty. This one's cool. I like ones you had to like literally hunker down into. <laughs> Some pole position. Dang, dude, you, are you just scouring like marketplace and stuff for these? Uh, people usually contact me. Okay. They know. They know now. You're the guy. Okay, literally just kind of like scooting by more arcades. Oh, just chilling, just chilling. Marvel uh, versus Capcom 2 right there, just chilling. There's a Blitz, chilling. Here's a Super Mario Bros. Here's boards. Here's, there's the other side of the Turtles pinball. Here is whatever that is. There's Riff being loud, trying to like do his own video. Here's Golden Axe. There's uh, Capcom Bowling. I can't even get over there. Wild Riders? I don't even know what that one is. It's hard to even move in a lot of this area, but there is just, like, it's the mecca of retro video games, arcades, all this stuff in one place. Here's random Twilight Princess HD, HD or Wii U boxes. Uh, it, it goes on forever and ever. The whole other side, we haven't been over there yet. We'll jump over there, but probably 50 arcades just chilling in here right now. Ricky, what did you find? Oh. Bringing down stuff, but check this out. Links. Oh, man, the Nomad. What? <laughs> Thank you. <That's> what? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they work. Probably not. I get, most of the stuff in here, it seems like he's like trying to fix, but. I'm gonna check this one out because that this one a, does not look bad at all. That's a good one. And then how's the links look? Under. These weren't even in the in the repair pile. Okay. So this could just be storage. Anything else down there? You got controller, you got a Halo controller down there. What else? I gotta go dig through this thing. Yeah, gotta dig. Mike? Oh, Michael's yeah. got stuff. Controllers. Beef, man. Actually, got a switch controller. Hey, turbo. Got some turbo, got some turbo controllers. 
So I'm definitely sweating at this point. It's getting pretty hot. We're here in Florida, so it's hot, right? I'm gonna pass on the One Piece PS3 because I flew and I just don't really need it. This is what I'm interested in. Power Quest, Starshot, and this spinoff of Dragon Warrior. Uh, interested in all three of those. Gonna see what Joe will do on those. And then this X-Band is freaking sick. This was used for the Genesis to get online. Internet. X-Band is the first video game network that lets you play real people across town or across the country. You even get to use your own games. All you need is a Sega Genesis and a telephone. Oops. Bad hair but really, this whole trip was more just to dig through a gaming oasis of stuff, of seeing Jaguars just right there, Neo Geo CDs, just all this stuff in one place. Not necessarily to buy a bunch of stuff. I'm happy with this. You got a couple things. Maybe you're gonna ask him on those. I'm gonna ask him on these. What is that? This is the Resident Evil Wii gun. There's actually this one, and then there's a Magnum, the Magnum one, but that one's really expensive. Oh, okay. I'm good here. Oh, he found some more uh, Marquis stuff. Okay. Yeah. Marquis. I think I'm. I think I'm good on this. I'm gonna ask on this. Super sweet, awesome for Joe to uh, you know invite us out here. He's got his con tomorrow, and he's he's letting us hang out, and dig through all this stuff. Super sweet, man. Awesome, Michael. You find anything that you want? You want that big chair right there? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Fit the carry on. That's an easy carry on. Yeah, perfect. Is that you telling, that, I think this is Rick's way of telling you to give me a price. Do you know off the top of your head what those are worth? Of course I do. Whoa! <laughs> he's a G, he's, he can fix, he can fix consoles, fix arcades, and he knows the prices of games. Well, you know, some of us have owned game stores for like 10 years. Not all of us have owned one for a year. Give <laughs> me an offer. Do you know what they're worth? I, I know decently. You wanna play a game? Yeah. See how close you are? Ooh, let's go. Okay. Here. Oh, right, we're going right now. We need somebody store to owner, over, Store owner to store owner. What if we do, what if we do, if if I'm closer on them, I get them for half. If I, if you win, you get them for full. Idiot. How's that work for him? Yeah, I lose either way. There's no advantage for me. You get them, I pay more. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do. What an idiot. Okay, I know the last sold on this, November 10th. Are we going by singular sold or last three average? <sighs> Let's go by last sold, because it's all pretty, pretty yeah. relative. Name it. 22. 23.50. He's closer. What is it? 20, 27. Okay. One down for you. Okay, so you have to pay him 40 times what it's worth. <laughs> okay, you go this time. What is it, what is it? 119. Star shot. 115. Give me those numbers again. 119. 119 and what? 115. 119, 115. Last sold. Ooh, it's all over. The last sold is a little lower though. 90. Yes! Or the last. Hiya! Oh, it all goes down to the last game! 125 is after that. I actually owe you one of these. I told you I'd give you Oh yeah, one. that's right. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> what is this, Tornado? Tornado, right. the last hope. Torneco on PS1? Yeah. 158. I'm gonna say 162. Ooh, you guys are both close. Okay, let's see. Uh, Torneco, what were the off, what were these? These are close. 162. 162? 160. <laughs> so he won. Both of them. He won two, you won one. He said 162 and I said 158 and it was 160? Oh. That's high. Like dead on. Oh. That's the exact tie. Sorry, right. not brightest. I'll edit, don't worry, I'll edit that part out. Tiebreaker, <laughs> what's this worth? <laughs> <laughs> All right, since the tie happened, why did you owe me this again? You just said you were gonna give me one? Yep. Well, he's just gonna give me under all our game, so I'm just gonna pay him for the full price. Hey, thanks for letting us hang out in uh, the craziness of your life. Yeah, this is and now, we're about to go to the con. You pumped? Are you tired? A little bit of both? I'm not even awake. To the 